They call me Superman. I don't wear tights or a cape, but I leap, dodge, and I sure as hell fly. I'm the big daddy, the big Aristotle, and I'm big time. Some ancient freaks got delusions of grandeur. Looks like Shaq Daddy's gonna have to whoop some ass. This time we won't fool it up. So, you know, the idea basically came about when I met with Mike Paris and Greg Ferguson, who are two of the guys who work with Shaq. Shaq's a gamer. It's not a big leap to guess that, especially with all the hard work he's been putting in since his retirement, that he'd want to get back into the game space. Looks like Shaq Daddy's gonna have to whoop some ass. We actually got to go down to Orlando and spend a weekend with Shaq, and literally we spent hours talking about potential game opportunities that we thought we could explore. For example, we had Shaq Man, Flappy Shaq, Shaq and Field, Bioshack, Shaq Droids, Shaq Ops, Shaq to the Future, Little Big Diesel, Shaq Bandicoot, Counter Shaq. Oh, and somebody had O'Neill of Fortune. What we kept coming back to was the fact that the original Shaq video game was, to be nice, not very good. You know, for me it's all about legacy and I don't want the, the old Shaq Fu game where I'm fighting a couple guys in France with a little stupid front kick. You know, it's rumored that out here in the Vegas desert, the French buried about five million copies of Shaq Fu. People have asked me, dude, Hez must have rolled at EA back in time when Shaq Fu came out. It's like, no, we usually play marketing, but this time, I think we just blame the French. Because that's the American thing to do. Uh, le premier Shaq Fu a été une, un vrai désastre pour uh, toute l'industrie du jeu vidéo française. The whole intent was to cash in on, on Shaquille O'Neal's popularity. And so we decided, hey, let's start with that. Let's remake it. Let's do it right. Let's, let's put together an all-star team and make a game which Shaq can be proud of and which basically matches his legacy on the court. We have guys who are working with us on this game who have worked on Halo properties, who have worked on Final Fantasy and Street Fighter, Duke Nukem when it was actually good. To all the listeners, not gonna be like that last Shaq fool. Forget, forget that out your head. Open your head up, take it out and throw it away. This new one, <sighs> top of the line. Think Devil May Cry with an old school Streets of Rage feel mixed with classic Shaq humor. With the new Shaq Fu, we're going back to the golden age of gaming, but with all the advancements in technology that we've made over the last 20 years. So we want a 3D beat-em-up with dynamic, destructible environments, fighting in Chinatown, on rooftops, in seedy nightclubs, comboing your way through thousands of enemies, busting out epic special moves, learning new fighting skills and techniques and building up your character. Fun, fast, addictive gameplay with responsive controls. Oh, we got something for you. Technology 2027. That's right. We're ahead of you. Indiegogo for us is about bringing the potential fans on board to help us make the best game we could possibly make. <laughs> Here we come. Partnership. Together, we'll build a game that's bigger. Shackier. Dude, I'm not and saying that, that sounds like sh So this time, we're building it for the fans, for you. And yes, we are asking for your support. With your contributions and your donations, you'll get great prizes from the Shaq Library, maybe even means with Shaq himself. And for no other reason, don't let the French win. It's just not right. Une suite pour chaque fou. 
<rire> je pense pas que ce soit vraiment une très bonne idée, à mon avis. Euh... Enfin, franchement, le premier jeu, il était vraiment... Enfin, c'était vraiment une grosse... Enfin, vous voyez ce que je veux dire, quoi. C'était une catastrophe. Vous pouvez pas faire ça. Euh... C'est... Oh, I'm kicking everybody ass. Kick it up. So you couldn't even see it. See, that's that new move. I might give you the cheat code for that move. This time we won't fool it up.